In this video, I'm going to be looking at how do we create an application in a jar file that can be run by our client easily using IntelliJ and on a Mac. Now, there are different variations that we might have to worry about. Some of you might be using a different IDE. Um, some of you are doing this on Windows. Hopefully most of this process should be the same um, and therefore work for you. Uh, and I'll try to address as many of the variations as we're going through as possible. Uh, if you're still having issues, feel free to reach out to me and I can try to help you with your specific situation. To start off, we have this basic project that we're working with, which is a game that's been developed. And when I build it, it gives me a window here we can see different kinds of text there, images, um, and then the way that the window has been sized. So that's what we're going to be developing. So while I go through this, well, the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to the top project and go to open module settings. The shortcut is command down or control. If you're using a Windows machine, control down should take you there. And that's going to open up the module settings. First thing that we want to check to make sure that it's an easy interaction, um, integration with JavaFX is that the SDK is set to Java 8. So you'll see it as 1.8 or different versions there. If it's 11, 17 or higher, it's not going to work. Cornetto 1.8 is also still fine. That should work um, without any issues. Make sure that the language level is set to 8 as well. Um, modules, nothing much should be needed here. Nothing should be needed here. Um, just going through there and making sure that it's set to Java 8 and there's nothing weird happening. Under artifacts, this is where we start to do some serious work. So an artifact is um, something that you can use. It's a bundle or a standalone application that you can run without having to use the IDE to start it up and to start up the project. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a Java runtime application and we're going to open from module, uh, from module processing FX. And that sort of sets up the basics of what we need to do. It's actually done a lot of setting up like pre-processing and post-processing, all of these things that are required to get it to work. But the next thing that we need to do is we need to get the Java FX set up the way that we want. So in this case, we need to figure out what is our main game that we're going to be running. In this case, um, you'll notice that it came up with some options right off the bat. If it doesn't, just go to project, go into your sources, and find the one that you're looking for, which in this case is the game class. So this is my main class, which is going to start up my project. I'd want to set my window to be what I want it to be. Um, I can't remember what the student wanted specifically, so I'm just going to do 1,000 by 1,000. So that's going to set up the default um, width and height of the window. The next thing we want to do is for the native bundle, we want it to now you could choose DMG if you want to work. That's going to create the installer for it to work and EXE again, getting it to all work. Let's just do all of them so that we have all of the different options considered all at once. And once we've got that set up, we have the basics of what's going to work. IntelliJ is going to do a lot of work for us to get this to work the way that we want to. Clicking on apply and then OK. Oops, I forgot something. Something that I always like to include. It's not really necessary, but I find it is kind of nice, is to include project and build. All right, so once we've got this, what we're going to do is we're going to go to run, or sorry, build, and then build artifacts. And then we tell it to build. Now what you're going to notice is in the out folder, there's going to be a new folder that shows up called artifacts. This existed already when I was showing this up. This is just showing the DMG because it created the DMG for me, um, which would run as an install. Don't worry about that. Um, but we can see that we have the artifacts that's created. Um, J processing is the name of it. And then we have our J processing as well. All right. so. That took a few minutes for it to show up, um, but we can see now it's created all of the different parts that we need. Um, here are the bundles. So there's the app. That's what we would see in terms of um, 
Windows. That would be like a Windows app. And if I open up Directory Ad, open in Finder, it's not going to show up as, if I go into Bundles, we can see that it actually shows up like a, like an actual application in um, Microsoft or uh, in uh, Mac. Okay. Now, what's important here is that we have a bunch of resources here that we've set up, a bunch of pictures. If I try to run this um, as is right now, it's not going to work. And I'm going to get a few different things where it's going to complain. We can see that it kind of loaded. We got some images there, but the, um, the text isn't what we want it to be. It's not really working the way that we want it to. So how do we fix this? The way that we want to get this to work is we want to copy the way that we have things working here in the system, which is that from the project folder, we have a resources folder in there. So I'm going to take that folder. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to copy. And then from here, I'm going to go into the my, my app folder. I'm going to go where to Java. And then in here, where the jar file is, that's where I want to actually put all of the resources. So I'm copying the resources over there for it to work. And once I have that set up, I'll be able to run it. And now it's loading in all of the attributes that it needs to. Now, if I try to give this program to somebody else, it's probably not going to work the way that I want it to. There's one more thing that we need to do in order to, for it to work on other machines. Now, this might be something that you need to do on your machine, but it might be something you have to do on their machine specifically too. But I'll show you what this process is. Um, what you might get is an error saying that it's from an unidentified developer um, or that it might say that the jar file is corrupted or the app is corrupted, do you want to delete? Basically what's happening is the operating system is trying to protect itself from malware and saying that this has not been signed properly, it hasn't been set up to work. There is a way of getting around that where we set ourselves up as a proper developer and set up some credentials. We're trying to just sort of do this the easy way. So we're going to sort of cheat at this. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up the terminal down here. That takes me into my actual project itself. Okay, and then what we're going to go into out. Ooh. Oh, interesting. So we want to open up this folder. Okay, so all I did was I went to here, open in, terminal, and when I do ls, that lists off all the directories that are here. Um, the one directory that we're looking for is out, so we're going to go to out. That cd is for change directory. Um, and if I do ls again, I'm going to go to artifacts. And from artifacts, I can see that I want to go to jprocessing. Again, I'm just following the tree here. From there, I want to go into bundles. Okay, And once I'm in bundles, I'm where I want it to be, right? So I can see that there's the app there. And then what we're going to do is the xattr, okay, so to remove attributes. And we're going to do recursive. Okay, we're going to change. Uh, and then we're going to say J processing app. So that will, that command will make it so that it will run properly. So if you are getting errors when you're trying to double click on it, um, this command from the terminal window will allow you to handle that. And now you have an application that you can just double click on and it will run. Um, within the window and you can do whatever you like. Okay, we can see we can actually play the game. Um, in terms of something that you noticed is the window's not the right size, right? So notice that it's just not the right size in terms of what we want. Um, if you're trying to fix that, you're going to be looking inside the module settings, artifacts, JavaFX, and you want to just set the width and height of the window. All right. Once you have that done, you have all the uh, everything that's necessary to actually uh, set up and run your, your program. So this is the actual app that will work on a, a Mac. Um, if you're looking for something that's going to work on a um, PC, like a Windows machine, you're looking for an EXE.
for that to work properly. Okay, so uh, that one is a little bit harder for us to get up and running and working, but there are options out there to get that to work. Uh, the purpose of this video is to look at Mac because that's uh, mainly what we're using in class is we have mostly Macs and they're using the DMG file. All right, hopefully you find this uh, video helpful.